Hello everybody, in today's video I'll be doing a review of this wooden burr puzzle. This one is called Thor's Hammer, so it's sort of like a theme puzzle. It's got a, it, it's got a leather strap and it's got a really nice handle, um, and it's Thor's Hammer because it, it really does resemble the hammer that Thor uses in the movies. And I think it's a really cool concept for a uh, puzzle, and Stefan was amazing to build this thing and design it. Um, so yeah, again, this is built by Stefan Bomager. I really like his stuff. A uh, link to his shop is in the description and uh, you can check out his stuff there. Now I just received this plus two other puzzles and uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to get my first turn on this and see what happens because I've never dealt with something like this before because this one deals with sticks, which are these pieces here. I'm guessing one, two, three. And then it also has discs that probably move around, which are these ones here. So I'm just searching for my first move now. Oh, and I just want to let you guys know that this is uh, made out of the woods called Ipe, uh, Walnut, and Maple. So I'm not finding any movements here. And it's a level 25, so it's 25 movements to get the first piece out. And then 22 for the second. Wow, I'm just reading that now. That's actually uh, very impressive. All right, so maybe it's these things. Oh, there we go. I see that we've got some writing on the inside there. So that's nice. Oh, pieces want to move around. Okay. So that moves like that. Oh, that one moves. That one moves. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Now this, you know, I've seen lots of pictures. I know a lot of people who have this puzzle. I've never seen it in any way except for looking how did that go like this i've never seen it disassembled in any single way before so let's try this let's get somewhere else maybe here let's take a look down there can we see inside not really wow I can't wait until this thing is uh, is disassembled quite a bit because I think it'll look really nice. Anyways, so I, uh, I'm i going to go ahead and play with it until my first piece is out and then come back. And you know, I might even show you a little bit along the way just how crazy this thing is probably going to look. So I'll, maybe I'll show you around move 15 or so and, and see if uh, it looks really cool. So I'll see you then. All right, guys. So it's actually been a couple of weeks. Um, and I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update and look at how this thing looks after a while. Um, I'm told I'm at move 15 out of 25 to get the first piece off. Um, and it is quite a difficult puzzle. I will be honest. This is, I've put hours and hours of work into this already. And, uh, I believe that this piece here is going to be the first one to come off because it looks like it's the most, the biggest one. Um, and it could, because you can see that this this hole here will fit here, but I need to get it to come this way, but I can't because this is blocked. So I think I need to separate these two a little further so I can get that without this one being in the way. Anyways, uh, I think it's a lot of work, but now I know I think that's what I have to do. So now I can kind of backtrack my way and see how I can get that. But that's how it looks. It's really crazy, isn't it? Like that's uh, pretty cool. And it's a bit rattly now, which makes it a little bit difficult to keep my moves where they are. But uh, I think that's part of the challenge. So anyways, I'll come back when I've got the first piece out. All right, guys. So I've got the first piece off. Um, it was very, very difficult to do this. Uh, it's a very, very frustrating puzzle for me. Um, I did have to use a hint to get it to this level. Um, and the weird thing is, too, is you remember in that last segment that I recorded, it was really all messy and it was very loose and there was pieces everywhere. And then when it gets to the point where you can actually take one of these pieces off, it's actually you know, back into somewhat of a form again with all these pieces being aligned. Um, but yeah, I think that this puzzle is very, very difficult. I don't think it's a beginner's puzzle at all. I think it's, uh, I don't know, it's above my level for sure. Um, but it's a very, very fun puzzle. And not only that, like I've bought in some puzzles, of course, that are just a little too difficult for me. I mean, how many times have we heard now where I say I had to use help or I had to use a hint. One, because I'm impatient as a cuber where, you know, I solve puzzles very fast or I have a speed cuber. And some of these take weeks to solve or months sometimes I've heard. You know, they, you get frustrated and put it down, pick it up, get frustrated, put it down. Sometimes it could take months to solve one of these things. And uh, I, 
I, I'm too impatient for that. Um, and, I, and I asked for hints. Now, even though I asked for hints, it doesn't mean I'm going to memorize all of them. So it definitely still has resolve again. Like I'm not going to remember any of those hints because I kind of burn through it, you know. So later on, when I'm better, I I won't remember how to solve it. So it'll be a brand new puzzle again for me. I'll just remember which pieces come out first, and that's it. So, anyways, I am going to uh, come back when this thing is completely disassembled. I heard that the second piece is even harder than the first piece. Oh man, help me. Anyways, so I will see you guys in a little while. All right, everybody, so as you can see, I've got this thing completely apart. Now, I am uh, hiding one of these big plates so you can't see the entire mechanism. I don't remember if Stefan said that I could uh, show the entire mechanism or not. But anyways, um, so this is the thing. Now, I did get the uh, whole thing apart without another hint from the VirTools file. I actually found the second piece easier than the first. Uh, my friend Kevin disagreed, said that the second piece was a lot uh, harder for him. But the second piece was easier for me anyways. Now, as far as putting this thing back together, <laughs> I am definitely going to need a Bird Tools file for that. In fact, I've already got the Bird Tools file, so I am going to uh, do that right after I make this video. Um, but it's a very complicated puzzle. I would say that this is um, very much an expert puzzle. Now, I haven't been around the bird community long enough to know what exactly what an expert puzzle level would be, but I think this would be it. This is a very, very difficult puzzle, and it took me a long time to do it. I think since the very beginning of the video that you just watched, it's been over a month. Um, so anyways, long time. It's one of those puzzles that I didn't work on for a month. I, I would work on it for hours at a time, and then I'd put it down for days, and then I'd pick it up, work at it for hours, put it down for days. It's a very... To me, it's a very frustrating puzzle, but it's very awesome as well. It's a very challenging puzzle. I've never done anything like this. I've never done any of these um, plates, I guess. I mean, I have with one of uh, Alphonse puzzles, but I started this one before. This was my very first experience with that. And this wood is actually really nice. It's actually pretty heavy for uh, such a small piece. I believe this might be walnut. I'm not sure. Anyways, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and put this thing back together with the Burr Tools file and then come back and tell you more about it. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've got this thing back together. I've had this back together for a few weeks. I just never bothered recording this section of it. These uh, burr videos are actually taking quite a lot longer than my other, you know, usual cubing videos. Um, some of these have taken months actually to make the videos, just recording segments along the way or just forgetting about it and coming back to it. Anyways, um, so like I said, this is a, a very, very difficult puzzle for me at least. So it might not be for some other people, but for me, it was a very difficult puzzle. I had to use hints. Um, it's, I think, above my level, either that or I'm just not really uh, too skilled with using boards and sticks together. Um, there's a lot of movements going on all over the place with a lot of the pieces at once. It's hard to, it's hard to tell what's doing what, and it's hard to memorize exactly, you know, uh, you know, where the holes would be on the inside of these pieces as you're solving it because you're, it's really blind. It's a blind solve. Like you can't really see too much in there. Whereas like a bird, you can kind of look inside a little bit, but, but this one really restricts your, your, your movement. So I think a lot of it for me at least is luck solving this. And I'm sure some other people out there can be able to solve this, uh, and be able to figure it out a lot easier because they're just more skilled. But for me, um, I think it's a little bit too difficult. So I'll have to revisit this in the future. Uh, when I've got more skills, but I do have to say that this is one of my favorite pieces in my collection because of the theme of it. Uh, Stefan is very good at doing theme puzzles. He's got some more that I'd like to get eventually as well. Um, not like this, but they're more, um, one's called Merlin and then there's, uh, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of them. He just, uh, I think he just designed one that I actually, um, I gave him the idea for, so that would be really cool. It's called Dragon's Lair. That's what I call it. I don't know if he's going to make it or not. But anyways, um, so yeah, this is a really awesome puzzle. If you'd like this, uh, link is in the description. You can order one from Stefan at Puzzle Leisure. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you on my next video.